Um, hotkeys. Hotkeys are like I, I like to say they're like quick buttons. Uh, things that you use all the time, uh, whether it's music bed, sound effects, um, some kind of bumper, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, what you could do is once you load up a hotkey page, it allows you to uh, click that hotkey and fire that button off, which will rotate within those three pots. So technically, you could have something on the air and hit a hotkey and have them both playing simultaneously if you needed to. Uh, but I also recommend it as if you're going into the library to search for the same file every day, day in, day out, um, put it on a hockey because you can actually insert things from a hockey to the log if you need to. So you think of it as just like a, a quick search of the, the things you use the most as well. You don't have to use it, but it's there. And to do something like that, um, when you go to the hockey page, you notice down here the yellow button that's playlist. Click here is hockeys, and all it does is toggle back and forth. Okay? So if you happen to come in here and hockeys is up, and it's like, oh, how do I bring the playlist out? It's just hitting the yellow button there. And then that brings the playlist editor, or playlist back. Now the hotkeys, when you assign them, are they universal or are they dependent upon a uh, user profile? Um, it's just dependent on, the, the, the profile is the same. So when you go here, go to index, everybody can create their own page. Okay. So you're just going in there and just finding your own page. Okay. So as you can see, I have, I have two tests. Let me get rid of these. These are just test pages. All right, so when you go to index, you go to index, you see there's only one page in here. I hit edit and turn edit on, you get a new page icon. If I click new page, I'll call this test three. So I created my page, turn edit off, go back to test three, it's a blank page. It's ready to have stuff loaded onto it. So to do that, I turn edit back on, and then basically you're going to the library and searching for something. So if I wanted this item, I click on it. Rather than insert it into the log, you'll notice that the hockey's got this nifty little circle. Click that circle, and now I put one item on the hockey page. Okay? And that's one giant button. But if I want more things, it's just a matter of finding what you're looking for, highlighting it, and now I've got outer circles. So then I click the outer circle and just keep adding. The more you add, the smaller the hockey's. You can add as much as you want, but the more you add, the smaller they get. Okay. Now, this is where I talk about it being your quick button. So when I turn edit off, that page is set and ready to go. And now, if there was something I needed and I want to insert it in the log and it's on my hotkey page, there's an insert button here. Click insert, click the hotkey, and pop it into the log. So I'm taking it by highlighting it, or clicking on it, and inserting it into the log. That's why I say it's good for quick buttons. And when you're done with it, just turn insert off. Okay. And then if I'm totally done with it, just go to the yellow, which is the playlist, and it'll take you back to your kind of your default screen. Okay. Now the hotkeys, is it only in the hotkey tab where they can they be assigned to the actual keyboard? Yeah, there no, there's nothing you can do with the keyboard because ultimately the system doesn't know which hockey you're gonna end up pressing. So ultimately you're just you have to use the mouse or in there is actually a touch screen. Um, so you can either, uh, if I'm going to fire something off, I can do that to, f to fire something off if I need to. Okay. Okay. So if you're in the hotkey page and you just click on a hotkey, it's going to start playing it automatically? Yep. Well, I don't have it configured, but if I had it configured, um, here, let me do this. Uh, system settings. No, that's not what I want. Okay, so if I'm in here and I click on something, now you can see it's playing off a of three, even though that is on two. Cool. So if I click uh, something else, now well, that's on one, like so, and it just kind of tells you what channel. Play it again, there's three. I can see it in the output in the next. Yep, kind of and that one keeps changing. So now, now it's a little off because I'll put a two, but it says next one. Mm -hmm. So it's actually going two to one. Because when you use hotkeys, that's fine, but everything is rotating through that one, two, three. But it's also deter, you know, switching based off of what you're playing or doing with the hotkeys. But then if I didn't want to do it that way, I could just hit insert, pop it into the lock. Okay. Turn insert off. Okay. 